How long before he who must not be named, or in this case, it that must not be named, before it takes over? AI is becoming dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. And as a matter of fact, someone like Elon Musk and many others are trying to step in to protect the world from the dangers of AI. Let's go through these news articles together and let's go through the letter that was addressed to OpenAI together. So let's have a look at the headlines. CBS says Elon Musk joins hundreds calling for a six month pause on AI development in an open letter. Billionaire Elon Musk, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak and former presidential candidate Andrew Yang joined hundreds calling for a six month pause on AI experiments in an open letter or we could face profound risks to society and humanity. Let's have a look at another article from Reuters. Elon Musk and others urge AI pause citing risks to society. BBC says Elon Musk among experts urging a halt to AI training and so many others. Fortune says Elon Musk and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak among over 1,100 who signed open letter calling for a six-month ban on creating powerful AI. I mean, this is crazy, guys. So Elon Musk and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak are among the prominent technologists and artificial intelligence researchers who have signed an open letter calling for a six-month moratorium on the development of advanced AI systems. In addition to the Tesla CEO and Apple co-founder, the more than 1,100 signatories of the letter include Imad Mostak, the co-founder and CEO of Stability AI. Things are getting serious. This guy's the CEO of Stability AI, the company that helped create the popular stable diffusion text-to-image generation model, and Connor Lee, the CEO of Conjecture another AI lab, Evan Sharp, a co-founder of Pinterest, and Chris Larson, a co-founder of cryptocurrency company Ripple, deep learning pioneer and Turing Award winning computer scientist Yoshua Bingio signed too. The letter urges technology companies to immediately cease training any AI systems that would be more powerful than GPT-4. By the way, I made a video I made a full video on Chad GPT and also the powerful capabilities of GPT-4. If you haven't seen my video, check it out. Which is the latest large language processing AI developed by San Francisco company OpenAI. The letter does not say exactly how the power of a model should be defined, but in recent AI advances, capability has tended to be correlated to an AI model size and the number of specialized computer chips needed to train it. Now, guys, we're going to check out this open letter. We're going to go through it together to find out exactly what Elon Musk and the rest of the guys are saying. And you know who joined in? Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple as well. This is big. This is serious. Let's find out what they're talking about. So this is the open letter. Pause giant AI experiments and open letter. We call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. I mean, GPT-4 is already extremely powerful. You got to test it out, guys, if you haven't done that. I mean, I've done it. I use it all the time. It's incredibly powerful. I can't believe we've achieved this kind of, this level of artificial intelligence. And I'm so excited for the future, but at the same time, I have concerns. I mean, I'm cautiously optimistic. We don't want it that must not be named to take over in the future. <laughs> All right, so the letter says how many signatures we have? 1,377. You can add your signature if you want. And the letter says, AI systems with human competitive intelligence can pose profound risks to society and humanity, as shown by extensive research and acknowledged by top AI labs. As stated in the widely endorsed SLMR AI principles, advanced AI could represent a profound change in the history of life on Earth and should be planned for and managed with commensurate care and resources. I agree. Unfortunately, this level of planning and management is not happening, even though recent months have seen AI labs locked in and out of control race to develop and deploy ever more powerful digital minds that no one, not even their creators, can understand, predict, or reliably control. And by the way, we're talking about the singularity event. Contemporary AI systems are now becoming human competitive at general tasks, and we must ask ourselves, should we let machines flood our information channels with propaganda and untruth? Should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete, and replace us? Should we risk loss of control of our civilization? Wow, that sounds far-fetched, but it's a possibility, maybe. Such decisions may not be delegated to unelected tech leaders. 
Powerful AI systems should be developed only once we are confident that their effects will be positive and their risks will be manageable. This confidence must be well justified and increased with the magnitude of a system's potential effects. OpenAI's recent statement regarding artificial general intelligence states that, at some point, it may be important to get independent review before starting to train future systems and for the most advanced efforts to agree to limit the rate of growth of compute used for creating new models. We agree that point is now. Therefore, we call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. This pause should be public and verifiable and include all key actors. If such a pause cannot be enacted quickly, governments should step in and institute a moratorium. I mean, it's a good idea to regulate AI before it's too late. Elon has consistently warned humanity about not regulating AI, and it would be too late if we don't act now. AI labs and independent experts should use this pause to jointly develop and implement a set of shared safety protocols for advanced AI design and development that are rigorously audited and overseen by independent outside experts. These protocols should ensure that systems adhering to them are safe beyond a reasonable doubt. This does not mean a pause on AI development in general, merely a stepping back from the dangerous race to ever larger, unpredictable black box models with emergent capabilities. AI research and development should be refocused on making today's powerful state-of-the-art systems more accurate, safe, transparent, robust, aligned, trustworthy, and loyal. In parallel, AI developers must work with policymakers to dramatically accelerate development of robust AI governance systems. These should, at a minimum, include new and capable regulatory authorities dedicated to AI, oversight and tracking of highly capable AI systems and large pools of computational capability, provenance and watermarking systems to help distinguish real from synthetic and to track model leaks. By the way, that, that's going to be a huge problem. It's going to be a disaster in the future. We won't be able to differentiate real videos from fake ones, real people from fake ones, all thanks to AI technology. Deep fakes will become a big problem. And that can be used for propaganda, for, for spreading misinformation and for lies. All these things have to be taken into consideration. A robust auditing and certification ecosystem, liability for AI caused harm, robust public funding for technical AI safety research, and well-resourced institutions for coping with the dramatic economic and political disruptions, especially to democracy, that AI will cause. Humanity can enjoy a flourishing future with AI. Having succeeded in creating powerful AI systems, we can now enjoy an AI summer in which we reap the rewards, engineer these systems for, for the clear benefit of all, and give society a chance to adapt. Society has hit pause on other technologies with potentially catastrophic effects on society. We can do so here. Let's enjoy a long AI summer, not rush unprepared into a fall. And that is the end of the letter. Let's have a look at some of the signatories here. Whoa, the list is very long. Look at this, you guys. Yoshua Bengio, founder and scientific director of Mila, Turing Prize winner and professor at the University of Montreal. This guy's big. Stuart Russell, Berkeley professor of computer science, director of the Center of Intelligence Systems and co-author of the standard textbook, Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach. This guy's also huge. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, Tesla, and Twitter. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple. Wow, look at this list, man. Andrew Yang, Valerie Pisano, okay, Imad Mostak, Connor Lee, Evan Sharp, Max Tegmark. Max Tegmark is a very important figure, is a very important name when it comes to artificial intelligence. I made a full video on AI based off of Max Tegmark's book. His book was called Life 3.0, and I made a full video on artificial intelligence based on his book. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. So Max Tegmark is the MIT Center for Artificial Intelligence and Fundamental Interactions Professor of Physics, President of Future Life Institute. This guy is huge, man. If he's part of this, if this, if he's part of this open letter, this is huge, man. Let's see who else is here. Tristan Harris. Okay. Tristan Harris, also a notable name. I'm not familiar with these guys, but I'm sure they're very important. Look at this. Ramana Kumar, DeepMind research scientist. DeepMind is also part of AI. This is huge. Wow. These guys are very, very powerful, important people in the artificial intelligence world. Check this out, man. The list is so long. 
Whoa. I mean, I'm, I don't recognize a lot of these guys because I'm not a programmer and I'm not a technical person when it comes to artificial intelligence, but look at all of this. Wow. You know what? I think I should add my signature as well. Adam Lash, tech expert. And I did just that, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. I added my name to the list. Your signature has been submitted and my email has been verified. And now they're going to be verified by a human before they're published on the site. So it may take some time for my name to appear on the list of signatories. So my name is going to be here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I share concerns with the rest of these guys about the dangers of AI. I am all about AI. I'm so excited about AI. I have been for, for over two decades. I wanted something like Jarvis for a long time, a personal assistant that can help me with research and do lots of work. But the problem is AI has dangers and these dangers have to be addressed. All of these people are experts and I agree with them to a certain extent about such dangers of AI. But I'm surprised that Nick Bostrom is not on the list. This guy is huge. I mean, he's one of the most important people that have to be on the list. He had this incredible TED talk on the dangers of AI. Aha, uh -huh, but they did reference Nick Bostrom here under notes and references there. Bostrom and Superintelligence, Oxford University Press, which is this book right here about superintelligence by Nick Bostrom. And also, I think they referenced Max Tegmark's book, which is Life 3.0, which I made a video about. There you go, Max Tegmark, Life 3.0, Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence. I made a full video on this. If you're interested, check it out. We have to be careful about AI. I'm very optimistic about AI. I love technology and by no means am I a Luddite. But at the same time, I am cautiously optimistic. And let's just face it, we all watch science fiction movies. And it that must not be named is a possible reality. It's highly probable that it might happen. And once it does, no Avada Kedavra can stop it. That's not going to stop it. There's no kill switch. It's going to outsmart all of humanity. So we got to be careful, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button and make sure that you understand what artificial intelligence is all about. Because if you don't, well, you're living under a rock. Our world is about to change. And if you're not using AI in your work, then you're so backwards right now. And that's not good. Have a nice day.